Aquarius, hello, my darlings. Welcome to your April reading. I am starting off with an oracle deck for you to get an overriding theme message for you. And then we'll move into some an animal tarot and some affirmations for you. Um, April readings are a wonderful time to look at what we have been seeding in our life that is growing um, according to natural cycles in our life what uh, we're being asked to take great big sort of leaps forward in our life and also what being asked to spring clean in our life as well so if this reading resonates my darling you are hearing it within your divine design and if it does resonate or i resonate as a reader thank you so much for liking this video for your comments yeah. for your subscribes um and for your mentions and uh, for those of you who have become members the card has already come out for you before i start um also my gift back to you is the pay what you can 30 minute online readings and you can click through to my website below in the description box so the card my darling that's come out for you is transformation transformation number 32 so this is all about this transformation that's happening for you at this time is about your balanced growth transformation the transference of information that's happening at this time information can come in many forms it can come through messages it can come through intuition it can come through experiences uh it can come through the connection in a relationship with you and another but it is a transference of energetic information that is providing you with insights and clarity and a growing increasing awareness in your life and also, as we can see from the chain, to help you break free of things that you have been perhaps attached to in the past. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life and become the person you want to be. So to reach out, to stretch yourself at this time is a very big message uh, from spirit for you. Because it's only in the stretching, it's only in the reaching that we are energetically leaning towards literally uh, and encouraging of the breaking of bonds that have perhaps been holding us back. So let's have a look to see um, what, uh, and I'm seeing proposal on the bottom of the deck now for you, a romantic or business opportunity is indicated. So reach out for the power and strength to make changes to make changes is to say, I am open and willing to go through perhaps um, things, situations, experiences that make me feel a little bit stretched, a little bit uncomfortable, but I know it's for positive change. My hand is reaching for this uh, animal deck, the Orion's Animal Tarot. So we're going to see where you are right now within this transformation. Thank you. What seeds have you grown um, in the past that are now beginning to uh, show signs where are where is Aquarius right now within their transformation thank you we have got the page of wands so I feel I'm just hanging upside down here I feel with this card for you this is the little I don't know what this is is this the little beaver here maybe this is the little beaver here um I feel for you that you are very busy at the moment um you know ones are about what we're desiring our actions our drive at this time our motivation so i'm feeling for you in this space this is a kind of it seems like a, a kind of playful new energetic approach to something that perhaps you hadn't applied a play, playful energetic approach before and the page of wands is the start of something um and to take notice of changes that are, are happening around you as an aspect of this transformation because they're just the small signs that those seeds are growing for you at this time there is a that you have received signs there is a do you see he's holding that little wheat sheaf and so it's that connectivity at the moment you're literally holding in your mouth a, a sign of a manifestation a small sign of maybe just one little sign of something that's changing for you and there is a contentedness within this card and there is a playfulness as well uh, but there's also seeing it from a different perspective so it's an encouragement for spirit despite what you may be feeling that your eyes are seeing at this time feel the feelings feel that feeling of energeticness that's rising up within you which is a wonderful time in spring we are encouraged aren't we to take that leap forward to embrace feel your feelings at this time my darling perhaps uh come away from from perceiving things that your eyes are seeing because the eyes tend to see things as we are not actually what it seems there are things happening that are not what they seem at this time um and it's a really beautiful card this page of ones for you you're, you're there is an excitement there's an excitement there's a sort of bubbling excitement within you 
and I, maybe a little bit of impatience as well. Um, and look, now I'm seeing the full card. So this is, uh, you know, as you know, you're entering into a new cycle. I feel it's with with the transformation, with balanced growth. It is a new expanded energetic structure for you. It's one that's open to all of your playful dreams um, and your desires. And it's one where spirit is encouraging you to continue to take that leap of faith. What does that mean? Continue to take that leap forward, trusting that all will be revealed that there are infinite possibilities out there to be relaxed about where you are now, to be content, to be in pursuit of happiness and peace as a, as a, as a playful approach um, and to trust, to literally trust that you're exactly where you're meant to be within your uh, evolution. Uh, it's a really lovely energy, my darling. Let's have a look to see um, for you what is blossoming uh now in your life and you've got the hierophant uh, and the ace of pentacles so i feel you know come back to this proposal and the wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck i feel that some form of new relationship for you it can also be a new way of a relationship being as well but some form of new relationship uh, and not just any old relationship, a relationship that is effectively a soul contract, a relationship where two souls have decided they are going to come together in this lifetime in order to evolve, in order to learn from each other, in order to grow from each other. And there is within this um, hierophant here, a, uh, I feel that there is quite a resilient energy. There's quite a sort of stubborn energy as well there, but there's also a determination and a will um between you two as souls to affect positive change in both your lives and you've got here the ace of pentacles and so spirit is encouraging you uh to break free of perhaps you know reach out for the power and strength to make changes enrich your life and become the person you want to be so this relationship has come into your life within divine design to encourage you to become the person you want to be so maybe there was a lacking in self-confidence maybe there was a feeling that this relationship would be the same as any other relationship now again this could be a business opportunity or a relationship that we would call a love relationship but whatever it is, they want you to take a moment, take a pause and think about why it's happened in your life now, uh, because it is through that understanding, through seeing all sides of it, that you will relax into it. You will take the leap of faith forward at this time. And there is a keenness, isn't there? And there's a little excitement within that little frog's uh, face. There is a sort of joy and an anticipation. And he's taking a leap. He's stretching himself as well. Um, so let's see. Uh, that's what's growing in your life. And I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune too. Let's ask Spirit what your challenge at this time, um, what is a sort of spring clean for you? Thank you, Spirit. And the chariot. So uh, I see the Ace of Swords, but it's upside down. So the chariot, my darling, is uh, that form of self-control. It's a form of relying on yourself for your intuition, for the assistance. It's a form of self-control about the sense of progression that's happening at this time. Funny enough, with this chariot, um, which is why the cards have picked this one, your soul has picked this card, is that there are times for things to move forward at a rapid pace, just like there is in spring sometimes. And there's also times for rest like there is in winter. And in fact, this eagle is resting. So with whatever sense of progression that you're making at this time, don't become frustrated with the sense of with, with the progression with which this relationship is expanding. Trust that there are future opportunities. Uh, trust that all is, is, is it's is meant to be. Be in the present with this relationship. Don't be in a lack of it being in the present. What do I mean by that spirit? I mean that when we are sitting within something which is a gift, a divine gift for us, okay? When, we're, when we are in that space, to be present within it, to be appreciative of it right now to enjoy it right now because otherwise we're always in a wanting space within any form of relationship if we're always planning for the future in a way of saying well I don't have it yet but this is the next stage that I wish for this is the next stage come back to the present and enjoy the present moment and this chariot card you know as a as a major arcana is is saying to you my darling that you do have 
you do have um, the energy, you have the drive, you have the commitment, you are making a change uh, within your life. And it is a card of a resolution that you're going to have unwavering faith in this and in yourself, but you're going to allow it to have more family. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about that, my naughty doggies. So it's just to understand that um, the control with which you are handling this comes down to your understanding of the pace of progression of which this relationship, in whatever form it is, my darling, uh, is or will evolve. It's all happening within your natural design. It doesn't need to happen any faster than it is. Um, just like those seeds growing, they take time to grow, to appear, to shoot out, to blossom. And uh, there is headway being made there is a sense of progression being made, but take the time to just sit and pause and be within this relationship, whatever it may be for you. Um, you don't need to have it move any far faster than it is actually moving. Thank you. Anything else, Spirit, in terms of, um, oh, there we go. They've given, no, there we are. The Three of Cups, a beautiful little card here. I don't know what these lovely little creatures are. Just be, darling, just be within this space enjoy it, feel the sense of joy with the progression that you're making, the um, the embracing of change of yourself within this situation, within this growth. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life and become the person you want to be. So this relationship is, is, is stretching you. It's stretching you, it's encouraging you. If it hasn't happened yet, darling, it's coming in to do that and it's within your energy space, it's happening soon. But it's it's stretching you, it's encouraging you to become this person that our false sense of identity um, tells us another story. We, we, we don't have any perception of ourselves as an identity outside of our relationships with everybody else and everybody has a different perception of us. So how can we have a true sense of our own identity? This relationship, whatever it is, is at such a soul level that it's encouraging you to discover that within that soul to soul connection. And it's encouraging you to, to, to grow into, to become aware of the depths of who you are and the amazingness of who you are and to feel a sense of joy and completeness within the present moment. There is no need for anything else to fill your life because you are filling your life with your own self-love and self-appreciation. It comes from you. So this is the Three of Cups. And it's also saying to me as well, that in all in good time, in good time, this proposal will come in. In good time, um, there will be that celebration for you. It's there within your energy. And there is progression with the chariot, but don't make it go faster than it is going. You will tire those horses out. You will tire that eagle out. It will be a negative energy, a deflated energy, rather than a, um, a self-fueling energy um, moving forward for you. And that, my darling, is your um, is your reading. Um, I trust. And then now, look, isn't that lovely? The Ace of Swords has come out. Trust in the beautiful, gentle process of this. Trust that the truth of what is happening here looking at it from an energy standpoint is going to set you free there is loyalty there is a lifetime of a relationship here there is just going with the flow going with the gentle flow and you can rise up and away from this fear and anxiety by understanding that all that's meant to be for you is for you it you can't lose it but don't try and make it um move any faster than the natural than the natural cycle of your life and of their life too so um i trust that has helped those who have resonated with this reading my darling i look forward to doing another one for you um for may in probably about so i don't know maybe a couple of weeks time i'll start those but in the meantime i do do the weekly readings and i do the weekday daily shorts as well my darling so uh if this resonates perhaps check that out or if you would like to have a personal reading with me those details are in the description box below. In the meantime, take care and enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Take care, my darlings. Bye-bye.